Hi, my name is Dr. Ken Dinnell, and I am the CTO of Canis Automotive Labs. Uh, I'm here today to show you how a CAN Pico board can be used as a USB CAN adapter uh, for picking up CAN frames uh, and displaying them in Wireshark. Okay, so here we have uh, the CAN Pico uh, library functions that uh, we include with the CAN Pico uh, firmware. And uh, we have a very, very simple uh, CAN bus monitor here. Uh, we just spin in a loop, receiving the uh, CAN frames from the receive API call and then print them out. Uh, it's about as simple as you can get. Uh, we also have a little function here that just helps us save some typing by sending a periodic CAN frame uh, with a 32-bit uh, integer value in it uh, that sleeps for a particular period, uh, sends the frame and increments the, uh, the counter. So that's pretty simple. So we can see this running if we bring up a couple of windows. So here is uh, REPL running on uh, one of the Pico boards. So uh, what we do is we bring in the library. Uh, we create a CAN controller, create an instance of the library, and then run the monitor to receive CAN frames. Over here, we can make a um, similar sender. So, Bring in the library, create a CAN controller, create an instance of the library, and we will send, uh, let's send this every one second, shall we? So we set period MS uh, to one second. And we are seeing one frame uh, per second coming uh, across the bus and it is printing it out. Now, the reason we want to do this so slowly is that uh, the amount of time it takes for uh, MicroPython to actually print this is, is several milliseconds. It has to go through quite a lot of uh, work to print it to, to the console. Uh, so if we were to send it too fast, it would actually overflow uh, the CPU time, the buffers would overflow, and then uh, we would start dropping frames here. So instead of this, Let's have a look at doing it through min to the host with our simple CAN bus uploading monitor. This is pretty simple here. So we create an instance of min. Uh, we receive uh, just like we did before, but here we set the parameter as bytes is true. And so instead of receiving a, a list of CAN frame uh, instances uh, from the Python API, uh, on the on the Campico, we receive a block of bytes, and we just send those bytes over min with the transport protocol over USB serial, uh, and uh, that goes to to the host. We need to include this call here, which is a, a receive call that uh, pulls any uh, incoming min frames in, but it also drives the transport uh, layer, uh, min transport layer state machine. So. This is a very, very simple bus monitor that is going to upload to the host. Now, if we look here, this is the host code. Uh, it's called canpcat.py. I've uh, put this in the uh, min repository because it's uh, a very simple example. Uh, and we can see here, uh, it runs as a Python main program. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, we just basically wait for the min handler on the host side and if it's got a min ID of one, that's going to contain CAN frames. And then we use uh, this uh, function here, uh, CAN PCAP NG, uh, and that uh, decodes those bytes uh, into uh, a set of uh, PCAP NG uh, format, uh, which, is a, which is a format that Wireshark understands for captured packets. So we can try this out at the other end. So instead of running mon, we can run minmon, and instead of, so we can rerun that, and then uh, in on the host, this is a Raspberry Pi, uh, a Raspberry Pi 4 in fact, uh, so it's reasonably fast. Um, so we run Python 3. 
and we select the port uh, for that we want to run it on as port one, which is a, a secondary uh, USB serial port that the Canon Pico firmware creates. So we don't have to get into messing around with multiplexing the uh, REPL command line uh, input. And we pipe that to Wireshark uh, because this tool produces on the standard output uh, the, the packets uh, in, in PCAP NG format. And we tell Wireshark to read from standard input. So, Wireshark takes a little while to start, and we tell it to start capturing. And now we send some counter frames. And here they come into Wireshark. Here's the four byte payloads, and it's the ID123 default. And we could start increasing the rate of that. Let's say we send much higher traffic rates. And here comes all these frames. We make that bigger. So this is Wireshark capturing our CAN frames that we're sending on the CAN bus um, using just about the simplest piece of embedded uh, firmware uh, you could get. Okay, thanks for watching. If you want to know more about CAN, you can go to canislabs.com or the Canis CTO blog at kentindle.github.io.